Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com my name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do government schemes related to agriculture so let's start the session uh, and this video is really really important for IBPS RRB scale 2 and scale 3 exam my number is always there so we have started the IBPS RRB scale 2 and scale 3 2024 course and it's available on bankexamstudy.com please check links are available in the description so let's start with the very first scheme that is the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana, right? So students, you might be aware that farmers, they actually do a risky business. They buy their seeds, they, they do the labor, right? They, they spend uh, a lot of resources on the pro, on their produce. And there is always a risk of uh, total destruction of the crop. Barish ho jati hai, kide lag jate hai, to Usse bachne ke liye the government, the government came up with the scheme, the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana. There are extreme weather conditions, droughts, floods, hailstorms, right? That can uh, that can do a uh, total, complete destruction of the their produce, right? So in 2016, uh, the government of India launched this Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana. So who is eligible for this scheme? Who is actually eligible for this scheme? The, for the eligibility, all the farmers uh, growing the notified crops are eligible, uh, are eligible and who are having insurable interest. That means what? Somebody who owns the land or somebody who is growing uh, the uh, the produ produce the actual farmer is eligible right jo uga raha hai ya jo own karta hai uh, jo basically kisani kar raha hai he is eligible so we are going to discuss about kisan credit cards in the next slides right so 2% of the sum assured it's a it's a insurance premium for kharif crops and for rabi crops it's 1.5% of the sum assured for commercial and horticulture crop it's 5% of the sum assured and rest of the premium is paid by the government of India, right? So, uh, <clears throat> that, that was repeated. So, what is the objective of Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana? To support the production in agriculture by providing affordable insurance, crop insurance system. So, affordable crop insurance system provide kara ja hai. And uh, from which season uh, PM FBY was launched? It's not that important. In 2016, it was launched. And who are eligible for the PM FBY, Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana? All the farmers growing notified crops in a notified areas uh, during the season who have insurable interest in the crop, right? They are eligible. So, Pashu Kisan Credit Card Scheme. Now, this is an extension of Kisan credit card kind of scheme, right? So, for the growth and development of animal husbandry sector, for the growth of animal husbandry sector, so, alag -alag, uh, jo pashu hai, unke liye credit is going to be provided by the government of India. The scheme is Pashu Kisan credit card. So, Haryana, it's the first state in India who provided the Pashu Kisan credit card. We are going to discuss the Kisan credit card in the next slide. So, which kind of uh, animals are covered? Cows, buffaloes, goats, etc. They are covered, right? So, eligibility, livestock owners, like uh, if you own cows, buffaloes, goats, you can get the benefit of the scheme. Fishery beneficiaries uh, should lease or own the facilities related to fish farming and fishing activities, right? They should lease or own the facilities. Other eligible groups include self-help groups, uh, individual fish farmers, women uh, groups or joint liability groups. They are also eligible, but they should be into the business of livestock, right? So livestock owners can avail loans up to 3 lakh rupees. So 3 lakh rupees up to you can take the benefit. Special loan amounts uh, for the buffaloes, it's around 60,000 rupees. For cows, 40,000. For egg laying hen, hens, it's more than 700 rupees per hen actually. For sheep and goats, it's around 4,000 rupees and no guarantees required for the loans up to 1.6 lakh rupees. For a loan up to 1.6 lakh, no guarantee is required and interest rate is 7% uh, which can be, you know, which will be reduced at 4%. So, 
so you are getting the loan at the rate of 4% only right loan repayment along with the interest must be completed within five years loan are provided in six equal installments right so interesting scheme what is the objective of Kisan Pashu credit card to provide loans for livestock farming and which state is the first in India to provide the Pashu Kisan credit card that was Haryana and under Pashu Kisan credit card scheme what can farmers uh, get a loan for for buying livestock like cows, buffaloes, goats etc. So Kisan credit card that's a very popular scheme the farmers they need loans they need short term loans because they need to buy seeds they need to buy fertilizers they need to buy uh, you know uh, pesticides <laughs> yes they use it and they need money for uh, for themselves as, as well right so to meet their short term financial requirements short term credit requirements the government came up with this uh, credit card scheme the kisan credit card scheme to provide a post harvest uh, post harvest expenses provide money uh, or finance for post harvest expenses and produce marketing loans right to meet consumption requirement of the farmers unka khud ka bhi jo karcha hai that is covered here and to meet working capital requirements for seed equipments and all that for uh, for that they are getting the loan right so eligibility all the farmers joint borrowers who own uh, who are the owner cultivators even the tenant farmers or the lessees they can uh, take the loans uh, under the Kisan credit card share croppers or the self-help groups they can take the loans so it's a short term revolving credit what kind of loan it is short term revolving credit so the cash uh, credit limit the CC limit is sanctioned for five years for the first year the uh, limit will be fixed on the basis of scale of finance for the crop and the dairy animals etc so plus 10 percent of limit towards the post harvest household consumption ex expenses plus 20 percent towards repairs maintenance crop insurance personal accident insurance and asset insurance so itne paise first year mein diye jate hai, right the second and subsequent years the limit will be arrived at uh, adding 10 percent towards cost uh, uh, escalation over the previous year Har saal 10 percent badate rahenge limits ko so uh, loan up to 3 lakh rupees at the rate of 7% just me 3% ka you know interest subvention or the kind of subsidy would be provided so effective rate of interest is 4% 4% pay the farmers they are going to get the loans so what is the primary objective of KCC or the Kisan credit card to meet the short term credit requirements for the cultivation of crops for the small farmers and who are eligible all the farmers including the tenant farmers chahe aapki khud ki land hai chahe aap tenant ho if you are a farmer you are a kisan you are eligible uh, it's a five year cc uh, loan it's a short term loan five year loan it's a cash credit limit of five years. it's a, actually a kind of limit so interest rate is seven percent further subsidies provided for the prompt uh, repayment so 3% after the 3% subsidy the effective rate of interest is only 4% per annum so Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinchai Yojana so it is a centrally sponsored scheme in which the center is contributing 75% and the state is uh, sponsoring 25% and in the hilly areas center is sponsoring 90% and the state is contributing the hilly state is contributing 10% so objective what are the objectives convergence of investments in the irrigation so irrigation uh, irrigational facilities in India uh, see the ponds are drying up in our in our country the groundwater levels are going down and the ponds are drying up so to 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 tackle that issue the government came up with the Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sanchai Yojana they want to expand the cultivate uh, the cultivable area right so taki zyada production ho to improve on farm water usage efficiency they are focusing on efficiency they are focusing on reducing the wastage of water so to enhance the adoption of precision irrigation and other water uh, other water saving technologies to enhance recharge of aquifers to ensure comprehensive and holistic view of the entire water cycle right and proper water budgeting pani bachao right features micro irrigation prompts 
uh, promotes drip and sprinkler irrigation system i hope if you had uh, into farming or agar aapne dekha hai so you might have seen the drip or the sprinkler irrigation system to enhance the water efficiency at the farm level protective irrigation creates uh, potential for the protective irrigation over 11 lakh hectares end to end solution cover source creation distribution management field application it's not really important for the exam important is all agricultural farms are eligible schemes aim to provide access to uh, protective agri uh, 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 irrigation to every farm so 53 billion rupees ka ek allocation hai budgetary allocation tha 2015 16 mein so 9010 ka hilly areas mein uh, there was a contribution 90% was contributed by the center Uh, one of the objective was to enhance uh, to enhance recharge of aquifers and introduce sustainable water conserve uh, conservation practices pani bachana now th this scheme is very popular and exam oriented the pm kisan so the central government is directly transferring amount of 6000 rupee in three installments to the bank accounts of farmers इरेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ दर लैंड होल्डिंग्स डायरेक्टली एक साल के छः हज़ार रुपये दो दो हज़ार की तीन ट्रांजेक्शन्स तीन डायरेक्टली uh, आपके अकाउंट में आते हैं एंड इट वॉज लॉन्च इन द ईयर ऑफ फेब्रुवरी ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन इट इज़ हंड्रेड परसेंट सेंट्रल स्पॉन्सर स्कीम एंड इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर छः हज़ार रुपये एक साल के जाते हैं सो आइडेंटिफिकेशन द इंटायर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ बेनिफिशरी रेस्ट विद द स्टेट स्टेट्स आइडेंटिफाई करते हैं सेंट्रल गिव द मनी so what is the objective to supplement the financial needs of small and marginal farmers and to protect them from uh, falling in the clutches of money lenders for meeting their regular expenses so directly 2 2000 ki teen transactions hoti hain so all land holding farmers they qualify and uh, family definition is husband wife and the minor children right so the annual compensation or the annual amount transferred under the pm kisan yojana is 6000 rupees and the objective is to supplement their financial needs directly 6000 rupees diye ja rahe hain right and the soil health card scheme it was very popular in the uh, previous years uh, it was launched in 2015 uh, basically the quality of soil in india has been degraded quality of soil bahut kharab ho rahi hai india mein due to the use of pesticides and same crops are uh, you know uh, सेम सेम क्रॉप्स लगाई जा रही हैं बार बार आई मीन सेम वीट एंड राइस दे आर डूइंग इट इन सर्कल्स एवरी ईयर सो सॉइल हेल्थ कार्ड इट इज़ अ प्रिंटेड रिपोर्ट विच कंटेन्स अ न्यूट्रिशनल वैल्यू ऑफ द सॉइल सॉइल में यू नो कितना वेरियस जो इन्ग्रीडियंट्स हैं दैट इज दैट इज देयर इन द रिपोर्ट राइट सो इन द रिपोर्ट द पी एच वैल्यू ऑफ द सॉइल इलेक्ट्रिकल कंडक्टिविटी ऑर्गेनिक कार्बन नाइट्रोजन फॉस्फोरस पोटेशियम सल्फर जिंक बोरोन आयरन मैग्नीशियम कॉपर द कॉन्टेंट्स एंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ द दीज मिनरल्स आर आर नोटेड डाउन इन द रिपोर्ट द सॉइल इज प्रॉपरली टेस्टेड एट एन इंटरवल ऑफ थ्री ईयर्स द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट इट इट स्पॉन्सर द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट स्पॉन्सर इज एट एंड दे पे फॉर द सॉइल हेल्थ कार्ड सो द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर लॉन्च द सॉइल हेल्थ कार्ड स्कीम ऑन फिफ्थ ऑफ डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन एंड एवरी थ्री ईयर्स द सॉइल हेल्थ कार्ड इज प्रोवाइडेड टू द फार्मर्स सो दैट दे कैन इफेक्टिवली मेक यूज ऑफ द रिसर्च एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस रिपोर्ट दे कैन यूज द फर्टिलाइजर्स सो प्रधानमंत्री मान धन योजना सो वॉट इज द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटीरिया स्मॉल फार्मर्स एंड मार्जिनल फार्मर्स विद कल्टिवेबल लैंड होल्डिंग ऑफ अप टू टू हेक्टेयर्स whose age is between 18 to 40 years and their name must appear in the land records of the states and UTs as on 1st of August 2019 uh, not covered under any other statutory uh, social security scheme for example NPS uh, the ESIs excludes higher economic status beneficiaries institutional land holders constitutional post holders serving or retired government officers they are excluded so minimum pension is assured is 3000 rupees after reaching the age of 60 in case of farmers demise the spouse receive 50% of the pension as a family pension family pension applies only uh, to the spouse only spouse gets a pension 
so monthly contribution between the age of 18 to 40 you can join uh, with a monthly uh, contribution of 55 to 200 rupees depending upon your age upon uh, turning 60 the pension amount can be claimed of 3000 rupees the minimum pension amount is 3000 rupees per month and age group to be eligible for pm uh, kisan mandhan scheme uh, 18 to 40 years and enam it is not really popular as of the moment but it is an online um, trading platform for the agricultural produce right it's an online e-marketing kind of platform for the agricultural produce it helps in price discovery uh, reduce intermediaries quality grading and unified licensing as of now this platform is not very successful not being used uh, often but i hope in the future that will be more popular and maybe used more often right now it's not used more often so launched in 2016 over 1000 mandis are integrated into enam platform states actively promoted so any farmers trader or buyer can register with an apmc and he can participate mandis need to be enam compliant now and that's i guess all for today i hope you like the today's session students so IBPS, RRB, GBO, Scale 2, Scale 3, 2024 course, we have started on bankexamstudy.com and we are providing complete video classes, notes, quizzes in the test series and complete coverage of the government schemes is available on bankexamstudy.com. You can just check. Uh, this is our WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts. No issues at all. List of our successful students. All these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and I'm really, really happy for them. So you can be one of them in the future. Ask your doubts in the comment section or drop us a WhatsApp message. We are going to answer all your doubts. So that's all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.